Morning guys, just to wait, pulled up to do a bit more squid fishing. Um, same as the last couple of days, just a um, bit more of a rocky bank along here. Doesn't matter where you really are in the straits, if there's a bit of rock or a bit of structure, um, you'll, uh, you'll probably go okay. The tide's fairly ripping in here, so I'll be looking for the little backwaters where they'll be hanging in behind the, uh, out of the run. Um, I've chosen a bit bigger jig today, it's a three and a half just to give them something to look at because it's uh, it's running so hard it hopefully will give them something to grab pretty quick in this run so all we're going to do I'm just going to drift down with the electric and just cast in along the bank sometimes you see schools along here sometimes you don't but um, a lot of the time you can't see them they're pretty good at camouflage especially on all this rock so you're better off just picking a bank wor working down and um, and you'll probably get a few you can if you're doing a bit of whiting fishing or something put a a float on up about half a meter and just throw this out the back and just let it drift along behind you and you'll still get a few squid that way so anyway we'll get into it and see how we go out for another morning um, morning fish this little rainbow reaper is proving to be a cracker it's um, yeah getting plenty so hopefully we'll get a few more it's running like like pretty hard but anyway we'll um, we'll just keep working our way down along this rocky bank Seems to be a little patch of them just sitting in along here, so I'll, um, I'll see if I can grab this one as well. That's another one. Get them straight on ice, they're pretty good going. Hi guys and girls, just thought I'd give you a run through of um, how I clean squid. A lot of people have been saying to me that they find them a pain to clean. I'd much rather clean a squid than clean a fish. So I'll, um, I'll give you a quick run through of how I do it. Mostly the biggest tip I can give you is to not clean them the same day that you caught them or really ice them down hard. You want the squid body to be nice and stiff. So if it's nice and stiff like the next day, I just leave them in a bucket in the bait fridge or with some ice on them in the esky and they'll go nice and hard once you've done that they're really easy to clean so all you want to do is just use your thumb your thumb is the most important tool when you're cleaning squid just slide your thumb up inside the body and break the head away from the body it'll just come out just like that so that's what you end up with as soon as you pull it out Next thing you want to do is flip it over. You just want to poke your thumb in beside the body under the flap. So you want to drive your thumb in under the flap, slide it down, slide it back along the body, and you'll find that it'll just peel off like so. You get to the next flap, and you just again slide your thumb down it, slide your thumb back up it like so and then just peel it off like that and the whole skin comes off so you just want to then pop the uh, little backbone out again you use your thumb just hold the, the body in your hand this one's a bit small so you might not roll 
but he pushes in and you might just want to push him inside out just like that just drive your thumb through and turn him inside out sometimes you'll split a little bit off the bottom but that's neither here nor there uh, give him a bit of a clean up there's just normally a bit of membrane in there that needs a bit of a, a clean up depending on how pedantic you are um, you can give that a bit more of a clean if you want you can give him a bit of scour but um, I normally just give him a bit of a rinse off like that and that's as easy as it is all you want to do is throw, him, uh, throw a few breadcrumbs at him a few chips and you've got a meal that you um, you know to die for or so yeah that's as easy as it is it's um well, they're one of the easiest things that you can clean so that's it get out and get a few